Theophilus Ndubuaku. I'm the National Secretary General, Academic Staff Union for Research Institution. I have uh, the National Treasurer by my left and the National Auditor by my right. And uh, can you give us the synopsis of today's uh, protest? Well, um, the protest is just to, it's like um, we are you know, coming to the court of public opinion. Uh, we are in front of the head of service and uh, we are sure the head of service and the functionaries in the head of service are seeing us. Um, as you can see on the banner, um, we had negotiations that lasted 15 years. What were we negotiating? The conditions of service and scheme of service for research institutions in Nigeria. Now, it will sound so unbelievable that a country of 200 million people that is hungry for development, that the research scientists, that the research sector does not have anything you can call a reliable conditions of service. And so the government took us through 15 years of negotiation, something that shouldn't last six months. And after 15 years, we all agree that we have arrived at what should be the conditions of service for research institutions. And it was left for the head of service to release it. And the head of service released it to the Ministry of Labor. A Ministry of Labor circulated it. As I speak to you now, the presidency is operating that condition of service. The science and technology that has more research institutions than any other ministry is operating, implementing the condition of service. But the Ministry of Agri said they will not accept that same condition of service, which they coordinated the negotiation for over 15 years. That they will not accept it except if the head of service sent it directly to them and not through Ministry of Labor. Don't forget that it's Ministry of Labor that is responsible for bringing unions together and, be, and bringing government. So they were the people who initiated the condition of service and then handed it over to the same Ministry of, of Agriculture to um, coordinate. And then now, after 15 years, the Ministry of Agriculture said they would not, they would not accept it except it, uh, it is uh, sent directly from the head of service. So the Ministry of Labor called the meeting one year ago and it was agreed and that meeting was attended by the presidency, the head of service, all stakeholders in the design issue sector and they said, head of service, okay, well, let's not just be arguing. Send this document direct to the Ministry of Agri. And the head of service has not done that one year after. And that's not all. The, when the head of service released the condition of service, they also were supposed to release the, release the scheme of service. So the Minister of Science and Technology and the Presidency and all the other research institutions have been waiting for the scheme of service, which has also been completed at the same time as the condition of service. And the head of service has not released that con the scheme of service. So we now have a situation where we are operating a condition of service without this, you know, the accompanying sch uh, scheme of service. And we just don't understand. We've written to head of service to, for an audience. They didn't reply. They didn't even acknowledge the letter. We don't understand what kind of power play that is going on in this country. We don't understand how the president of Nigeria will be implementing a document, the presidency, and the ministry will not implement the same document. And this is a country of 200 million people that this country is in a state of distress. Everybody now knows that this country has failed. Some people say it has failed, some people say it's failing. Whatever it is, if you look at the statistics, this country is designated as the poverty capital of the world. Everything, every in, in this, all indices of development we score, we come to the, the, the lowest level. Now, unemployment in some states is as high as 80 something percent of the population. Now, we have insecurity that 
has defied any solution by the security agencies. Why? Why are we having this insecurity problem? Because of unemployment, because of poverty, because of hunger, because of underdevelopment. And there is only one way. There's only one way you can resolve this issue of unemployment in this country. There is only one way you can resolve this issue of development in Nigeria. There's only one way you can resolve this issue of poverty in Nigeria. Which way? The way every other country has followed, and that is research. Everybody will tell you that everything you see around you is a product of research. And that no country develops without research. And that research is the key to development. Now, why would a country that needs research most be the country that does not seem to care about it? And yet, we have highly educated people who are at the helm of affairs in every sector in this country. And they know very well that research has been neglected by successive governments. And even if you just say, okay, research has been neglected, but this particular government is now in crisis because of the neglect. Should the government and its functionaries not be alive to their responsibility to now do the needful for research? What is in releasing a conditions of service and scheme of service for workers? How can a country be operating without conditions of service and scheme of service for its researchers? How do, how, how do we explain it to anybody? How does anybody believe that? Well, that is the situation. So, we have just started. We are going to continue. As I speak to you now, for the past one year, and I repeat, for almost one year, the research institutes in Nigeria have not been working. Just for, for just flimsy reason. I don't know what... Whether well, it's sabotage, whether they, are, they think they are punishing researchers or they are punishing Nigerians or something is, is a sub, sub, when it's form of sabotage or whatever. So we are calling on the press to, you know, talk to them, talk to Nigerians, let Nigerians know what is going on. What are we asking for? Simple. Give us a conditions of service so that the system will run, so that we can be productive, so that we can face our work, of which is a, our responsibility for the development of Nigeria. Period. Yes, Before this sir. event today, you have uh, made a series of attempts by the National Assembly to address some of these uh, issues abnormally that has to do with your research. Now, what is the situation? Well, the, I, I want to really appreciate the National Assembly. I also want to appreciate the presidency. Our problem today now has nothing to do with National Assembly. But as it is now, we are going to also go to National Assembly to report this matter. Because the issue we had with National Assembly was the matter of um, the National Research and Innovation Council. That council was supposed to be for uh, funding research and coordinating research. And because there's no coordinating agency for research in Nigeria. And then that's a uh, Council was supposed to be a product of the National Policy on Science and Technology. And so, as it is now, the Ninth Assembly has taken it up, the, the Council, the establishment of the Council, and now it has gone through second reading. Um, it has gone through second reading, it has gone through um, uh, the public hearing, and then uh, we are expecting that uh, the very soon. Uh, to be passed, uh, the, the establishment of the, uh, the, the uh, bill for the establishment of the council will be passed. So we, we, will, we will make a report to the National Assembly concerning the, the, you know, la, you know, the, the neglect or nonchalance of uh, the head of service um, you know, concerning these conditions of service. So we will do that, we, but we want to start first of all by letting the head of service know that we have waited long enough and from now onwards we are not going to rest until um, we get the condition of service released. 
Uh, you can imagine a situation where we wrote to the head of service saying, let us have audience so that you can explain to us what is, you have already, this document has been completed even before this particular head of service was appointed and it was released under uh, tenure. What is holding it now just to, to send it directly to the Ministry of Agri? And, and because the Ministry of Agri doesn't have that condition of service, they are doing all sorts of illegality. You know, in recent times they've appointed people that shouldn't be appointed as chief executives. So they know why they don't want that condition of service to, uh, to operate. Uh, to sir, uh, it appears that uh, you are directing your concerns to the head of service. When it is uh, also glaring that uh, the National uh, Salaries and Wages Commission are in charge of fixing rates based on the popularity of uh, each, uh, each uh, sector, um, don't, don't you think they are also relevant in this uh, struggle? No, because uh, at the meeting that we had, we had the stakeholders um, decided that the document should be sent directly to the Ministry of Agriculture. The salaries and wages were there. Presidency, uh, SGF, um, all the research institute sector, uh, supervising ministries. We have uh, about 14 MDAs that supervise research institutions. They were there at the meeting and they said, well, when Agric insisted that they would not accept the letter coming from the Minister of Labor, they said, okay, um, head of service, and the head of service representative was there, please, you people go and now send the thing directly to the Minister of Agri. That should have taken two days, three days, you know, uh, but uh, for whatever reason that we don't, we cannot understand, the head of service has refused to send that document to Agri. Whether it is agreed that came to them and said, don't send this document, delay it for one year, for two years, we don't know. We don't even know what this whole matter is all about. You know, so the best way will be for us to openly protest and let Nigerians know what is happening. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah. Over 15 years, 15 years, we negotiated. Head of service sent representatives to guide the negotiation. We went to Jaws, we went where, all over Where the, did it take the negotiation? It took place in several places. Mm. In Jaws, because it lasted over 15 Who years. Who anchored the negotiation? It was anchored by, it was initiated by the Minister of Labor. Labor. Anchored by Minister of Agri. And it took 15 years. So you, this is wisdom that the domicile with Agri, not education? Yeah, no, you know, because Agri and science and technology are the... The, are the institutions the, that have the largest the number, number of research institutions. Okay, okay. So, so you have nothing to do with education? Yes, uh, yeah, 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 and yes, okay. yes. but education is all the other ministries, mm. because research institutes cut across 14 okay. ministries. Okay, fine. So all the of them were represented. Ah, okay, and all the chief executives had, over the period yes. attended the meetings. Okay. Now, at just two years ago, the document was released through by a Greek itself mm. to the head of service. Mm. And then the head of service released the document, condition of service. Mm. Remaining the research institution. Yes. Remaining that is the negotiated condition of service. Mm. Remaining the scheme of service. Mm. They released the condition of service signed mm. to the Minister of Labor. Mm. And the Minister of Labor distributed it to all the research institutions. So we were now waiting for scheme of service, which is still mm. with the head of service. Pending. Pending. Mm. But finished. And the final copy submitted by a Greek. Mm. Now, after the thing was released, mm. a Greek said no, that the head of service should have released the thing directly to them. Where was it released? It was released by head of service to Where? Labor. Labor, you said. Okay. Yes. But it was supposed to have gone to. Yes. Okay. Agric said so. That was a meeting initiated by the Minister of Labor. Agric was there, head of service was there, presidency, SSS, all of all the stakeholders were there. And there was an agreement that okay, since Agric is insisting he must get the document from head of service, please, representative of head of service, you will go and write direct to Agric, releasing the document. Meanwhile, science and technology didn't have any problem. They wrote to the institutions mm. they have more institutions than agri mm. they wrote their institutions and say start implementation and they've started mm. the presidency mm. 
wrote to the institutions, and in fact, there was a, you know, a letter they wrote to us where they said they were acting based on the conditions of service for 20, released by 20, the head of service. Head of service. Now, something just went wrong. Mm. The Nigerian factor came in. Mm. Head of service refused to release the documents direct to Agric. Mm. Head of service now told us that Agric wants a different condition of service. We said, no problem. Mm. This one took 15 years. So Agric wants to start another one that will take another 20 years. The one that they, Agric, coordinated, mm. they should start implementing. Whatever they want, new. They should place it on top of, you know, with the head of service. Mm. We know the procedure for negotiating condition of service. Mm. This is one year now. Mm. Research institutions in Nigeria have not worked for one year in a country that is the poverty capital. No, that, no hold on now. You are generalizing. Is it only those ones concerned with agri? That yeah. is what you are Yes, saying. that's all. Those ones have been working now. Yes. So no, to, but you see, you know the problem. Mm. Because head of service refused to release the scheme of service. It's only for Agric now, not for the other ones. Yes, they released the condition of service. But they have refused to release the scheme of service for everybody. Okay. So even those who are implementing the mm. condition yeah, of service condition are implementing service. it without the scheme of service. And this scheme of service is completed and submitted to the head of service. Mm. And we have been on this for one year. Okay. Do you have copies of the correspondences? Oh, yes. Okay. We have. We let even me, wrote. Let me have copies no, of the we'll, Yes, we'll, we'll send it to you. No, I want hard copies now. So that yes, we'll send it to half copy. We'll bring you half copy. Now, so this is the situation. Sure, fine. fine. Now, you. because of this problem, uh. we wrote to the head of service, wrote to the foreign secretary. The seeking, when? when did you write? That was uh, about six months ago, seeking for audience. You said you wrote to head of service. Head of Pamphlet. service. Uh -huh. Yes, and the Pamphlet. permanent secretary, you know, and the head of service. You have five permanent secretaries, I hope you are aware. Yes, I, we, the one that they say was responsible for. Who is responsible? Where is Frank? Frank. So, hmm. we will give you all those information. So now we, we have so not fine. had anything. Okay, give me, give me, give me the information. Yes. Uh, then give me up to end of the day because it's already, it's already one. Yes. I will go to the most, maybe one hour uh, okay. tops. Uh? I'll get back to you letters before the close of work, which is four. What time? Which is four, before okay. the close of work. Okay. All uh, right, just yeah. give me the correspondence. Yes. I'll go and do my research. Because okay. I'm just seeing it right okay. now. Yes. So, uh, All right. I'm trying to talk to one or two people to get the details. Okay. But there is no way I can get the details unless I see a yes. copy of the, the document. Yes. No we'll government, we don't work we'll send them to you. Yes. Uh, you don't work verbally. Yes. So I need to have evidences of the correspondences. Yes. Then from there, I will know what is really uh, keeping the matter. Yes. For Thank you very much. Because it's not in us to do that. You yes, understand? Yes, 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 yes. No, no, we are for acting government. No, 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 hold on. We are for acting government. We don't hold things unless and if there is a major hitchcock, which yes. we can always find a way out. So I will find out what is the issue and I will get back to you. Yes, I also need to let you know that mm. three research institutes, three unions, mm. all the unions in the research institute sector yes. are on strike. Okay. And Best, uh, because of this or yes. uh, on another this matter? This is part of it. Okay. This is the major thing. This is the major thing yes. or part of it? It's, it's, well, it's a major, but okay. there are other things. Okay. All right. So, so fine. Sir. Okay. Let me get uh, the copies uh, of it. Sir, going forward, now what will you say of uh, the Office of the Head of I will not say anything. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I will not say anything. I will not say anything unless and if I see the correspondence with this association and my office, yes. then I will find out what is really the problem, then I'll get back to them. I, I, I said it already now. So there's nothing I can say unless I unless I get the details. Huh? I won't come and be telling you lies. I don't do that. Okay. Not in me. So All let right. me have the coffees of the correspondence. Okay, we'll I promise that. to get back to you. Ahmed Abdullahi. I'm the Deputy Director yeah, okay. of okay. Communications. Okay. Deputy Director. Communications. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.